What's going on guys, so I've been using the Moto X as my daily driver for the past two months now, so I thought that I'd do a what's on my Moto X video so I can show you guys what apps I like and basically what is on my phone every day. So the color combo that I got was sort of inspired by MKBHD, yeah that's right, I got black, matte back, and red accents. So I think that it looks pretty sweet, in my opinion it looks like the sleekest device. And by the way, my favorite part of the Moto X is actually the screen size, so if you're wondering why I'm using a Moto X rather than a Nexus 5 or a Galaxy Note 3, I just like the screen size on this phone. It's really pocketable and it fits in the hand extremely well. But other than that, I basically have the Phase Beam Live Wallpaper, one home screen to the right, and then Google Now to the left. Now I would consider myself someone who doesn't like to download every app on the market, but as you can see I have 500px first in line. This is probably my preferred photo sharing website, I just think that it's a lot cleaner and nicer than other photo sharing websites. Uh, as you can see, I only have like 4 photos on there, but it's still a really cool website, so if you want to check out mine, uh, I'll have a link in the description. But yeah, I just love 500px, really, really fun way to just post up your photos there. And then second is B&H Photo and Video. I absolutely love them. I actually prefer them over Amazon since I can pay with PayPal and for some reason Amazon doesn't let you pay with PayPal. But yeah, they have a great lens uh, selection, you know, camera gear, pretty much everything. You can even get uh, like laptops. Just overall, it's just an awesome place to like get equipment and stuff. And then I also have CNN for top stories. Um, I don't really care for their opinion that much. And then I also have Flappy Bird. Now, Flappy Bird is, oh my gosh, don't even get me started. Like, everyone at my school is playing this game, and it's just annoying. So I'm really bad at Flappy Bird. That might add on to the reason why I absolutely hate it. But yeah, other than that, I also have uh, Flashlight, Fruit Ninja, Full Screen. That's actually the network that I'm partnered with, so I can see my revenue earnings there. I also have the Glance app for my Pebble. And then I also have the GoPro app, which I absolutely love. And then I also have Jelly, which I think came out while I was at CES. Um, Jelly is really cool because you can basically just like take pictures and ask questions. I don't really like how fluid the app is. It's sort of weird because it's sort of like a gesture thing. You like swipe up, down, to the right or to the left. So sometimes I'll actually skip questions that I wanted to answer. But yeah, as you can see, I just posted one there. But yeah, next I have PayPal, um, you know, just some Pebble stuff. And then Squarespace, Snapchat, you know, Speed Test, SoundCloud, Snapseed, you know, all the S's there. And then on the next page, I actually have my grade app where I can check my grades. And yeah, that's basically about it. Other than that, I just have like generic apps that you would have on your phone. So yeah, guys, thanks for watching this video. I know I talked a lot. But yeah, that was basically a What's on My Moto X video. Hopefully you found some new apps that you might like. So yeah, guys, thanks for watching, and I'll talk to you all in the next video.